guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rune Factory Frontier. Um, last episode we finally met Cinnamon and Candy. And we died, actually, before we got to meet him. But we're on day 10 of... Ooh, look. We, we got the bamboo shoots. We got them. Remember when Candy raised the spirits or whatever, and we got to... Or she said, check your field... Blah, I can't talk. She said to check your fields. Well, voila. Here is the lovely bamboo shoot. Okay, we had two. whoop de doo Anyway, you know, they still sell for some money, and that's what counts. So I did buy some seeds. Let's sell these really quick. But I, as you can see, I did kind of take care of the land. Um, I bought some seeds that we're going to be planting. And it looks like we can pluck our strawberries. So like I said, last episode, we finally met cinnamon and candy. Uh, we got the harvester. The harvester is what's going to help us manage our runes. And the runes are the little uh, colorful things floating around in the sky. Um, oh, look, there's... Ro uh, what's her name? Oh, I forgot her name. But wait, don't go. We need to deliver a turnip. I think to Eric? Annette. Duh, I knew that. You want to deliver this turnip? Right. Leave it to me. Thank you, Annette. Morning. You have to respond to it before they all start piling up. Yes, ma'am. Let's read our letters before we continue on our work. Greetings. Hey, letters are more troublesome than talking. Cinnamon. <laughs> well, at least she cared enough to send us a letter. Oh, I love that girl. Surprise, we're not marrying her, but we are going to go for selfie. Which brings up, I still haven't figured out what she likes. I still need to look that up. Um, but I learned from one of my subscribers that if you read the books on the bookshelf, it will raise her um, likes faster. So we're definitely going to go there and then read some of the books that we, there's on that they're, bleh, 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 that are on the bookshelf. Um, we're also, we're not going to sell that, but we're going to throw the strawberries in here. Uh, what was I going to say? We're also going to plant some of these crops, and I'm going to water some. Um, we, I'm just trying to kind of pile up money at the beginning of the game. Uh, we do need to get a barn. It'll be nice to start befriending animals. So let's see. What do we want to plant? We want the potato seeds. We're only on day 10, so it's not like we have to worry about withering plants or anything. And it doesn't take so much RP. We'll then grow the cabbage seeds. We'll grow those ones right here. Now, the biggest reason why I tilled so much of the land so far is mostly so that um, the rocks and stuff don't grow back. Back. If the land is tilled, then the rocks don't sit there and they don't grow back the rocks and the trees. So I'll keep half of the field like tilled and then I'll keep the other half untilled just for the heck of it, you know. But here we go. We have some seeds and then we're going to water. Alright, so now that we're done taking care of our land, um, we did get to pluck the turnips right there. Um, we are going to go to that cave that we haven't been to yet. I kind of tested it. I kind of tested it out um, to see about the lag. And it's really not that bad. I mean, it's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. We can at least start exploring in there, get grabbing some... Grabbing some side things. Um, we're going to actually come back around 3-ish. Recover our HP and our RP. And then we need to go up to the Whale Island so we can encounter a cutscene on the fin. Remember how we went up there and then I ended up dying? Yeah. Good morning. On the opposite side of my home is where Eric lives. Eric also has his own field. So you should ask him for any pointers about crop growing. He's a fruit, but thanks, Mist. Oh, Rosetta, it's not time to collect the items from the shipping box, is it? It's not. I ran away from home. Huh? Why? Hear me out. My father runs a general store. But the other day, he forgot to do a delivery, and the customer was so angry, he said he'd take his business somewhere else. The deliveries are my father's responsibility. It's partially my fault for not making sure of it. But when we talked it over, he just said, it can't be helped. Can you believe that? Does he even care about his business? That's why I ran away. But won't your father be worried about you? 
It's fine, I left a letter there and being alone will force him to get his act together. I'm going to be staying at Miss Place for the time being. But don't worry, I'll still be making my collection rounds. I'm poking her with my stick! Oopsie! But cool, so it looks like Rosetta is now in the actual village. So that's kind of neat. Um, sad story though. Alright, so right now it's not too bad. If the lag gets too much, I might just have to pause it and... Or just return to the beginning of the thing and then figure out another way to get in here without the lag. But let's cut some of these monsters down. Maybe. And see what we can find in here. This is the green ruins. This is where we can encounter things such as the boss. There is going to be a boss here. We do need to complete this um, in order to move on the storyline. But for now, we're just going to try to pack up the levels. We're going to see what we can find in here. So far, no good. We, we can definitely pick up a bunch of bamboo shoots. If they're like this, that kind of sparkly color, it just means that, you know, a rune wonder has been set upon them. As in, Candy has used her magic to uh, bring them to the world or whatever, however you want to say that. So that's what that means. I mean, you can do that with, like, you can set up rainy days and sunny days and stuff like that with the rune wonders, but just be careful of the consumption of the runies you're going to be using. So we're just going to kind of walk around and see what we can find in here. Um, there's definitely a lot of monsters that... Oh, I hate when I didn't realize it. But there's definitely a lot of monsters to obtain once we get a barn. Right now I'm not worried about that too much. I'm just hoping that we'll level up. You know, we're gonna get our skill up, get some, um, get some items we can use for crafting later. That's pretty much what I'm focused on here. Can even pull out our hammer. Now, sadly, I don't have any food that can restore my RP. We need to buy a kitchen for that. Scrap iron crap. Well, that doesn't mean we can run or we can't run around. This, this cave and see what we can find. So we do have two, but that does HP. See, none of this stuff is gonna give us RP. That's the only bad thing about the beginning of the game. You don't really have much to fall on when it comes to RP game. Unless you go to like Rosetta's store, not Rosetta. Oops. Um, where, the bar. Unless you go to the bar and buy food. Um, what are we gonna do? Pull the weapon out. I am just going to kind of pick up stuff where we can gain some money, you know, we're just trying to find some items that we might need. Let the day pass by. We don't really need a bunch of scrap iron, but bamboo shoots are always nice. Oh, I'm going to get hit. Sh crap plastic. Okay, well it looks like it may be time to leave. Because <laughs> we're slowly dying here. We are going to have to go up to Well Island. It doesn't hurt to pick everything up while we're here, but we are going to have to go up to Well Island. So we can find a cutscene. Um, that'll be the next part of our storyline. Uh, we are gonna go see Selfie really quick before we go to the hot spring. And we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna read some of the books because um, apparently that raises her likes to you, which would make sense. I mean, if you like, if she loves books and you like books, that would definitely be a love booster. So why don't we run there now and see how she's doing. Look at all these runes. They're everywhere. I mean, on my game, I see like three or four floating around. But man, are they beautiful. Just so cool to see them floating around. By the way, um, we have our grass that has finally grown. We're not going to cut it. Um, we're just going to let that grass sit there um, in case of emergency or in less of an emergency. Um, but we're just going to let it sit there and we're going to gather runes that way. But here's cinnamon. Hi. Nice weather. Well, are the fish biting? Somewhat. Oh. What's wrong? Do you want to fish too, Sparky? I've had this for a long time. If you'd like, you can have it. All right, and we got our fishing pole. Thank you. How do you use the fishing pole? You have to first equip the fishing pole and stand in front of the water, then press A button to fish. When the fishing gauge is blue or green, press the A button or pull the rod. You can catch better fish when the gauge is in green. But if you pull the rod when in red, the fish will get away. 
Practice makes perfect. Thanks, Cinnamon. I love you. Can't catch anything today. Strange. I love you. I'm like a fangirl or a fanboy. <laughs> she is just so great. Anyway, let's go find Selfie. Selfie, I swear I like you more. I promise. I guess. See if we can find her in here. There she is. Hey, the weather is so nice. Ooh, but the sun is way too bright. Ah, yes, surrounded by books. This is the life. You really like your books. I don't just like them. Books are my life. Books are a part of me. I love books. I don't know what it is about this library. It reminds me a lot of Full Metal Alchemist. You know that giant beanstalk in front of the clock tower? That's connected to Well Island, isn't it? I wonder if you can reach Well Island just by climbing it. it feels like a storybook. It's so exciting. <laughs> All right, let's see what she has for sale. You know, just for kicks and giggles. Really? Great! I've only bought one thing from her frying pan. I don't even think I have that. Let's make weapons. Great, we do need this. We need to get this one. One-handed, two-handed, spears, axe, and hammers. Jewelry lab chef. Buy Great. Next time, please. Yes, ma'am. Mm, those eyes. I'll have to. Let's let's take a look at these bookshelves, maybe. And see if they say anything. Happy farm. Farm work begins with tilling the fields. Use your hoe to till and use a hammer to undo the tilling. Using better tools will help you more efficiently. On your field, tree branches and stumps may get in the way of tilling. If you see them, chop them with an axe and turn them into lumber. Just remember, you need a good axe to remove tree stumps. If you do not till your farm, things such as weeds and rocks will appear. If you find getting rid of them a pain in the neck, till your entire farm. Tilled land never reverts unless a storm blows by. This is... There is no stopping nature, so if this happens to you, do not give up until again. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I can't really read anything here. Cooking for men. You there! Do you think men in kitchens don't mix? If so, then you're commending yourself to a life of unpopularity. You, sir, must cook. To begin cooking, you must first enter a kitchen. Seriously, so many people do not realize this. Now, just because you're in a kitchen does not make you a master chef. Let us first look at some tools. To start, you need a frying pan, a pot, an oven, a steamer, and a blender. Use them accordingly. I like these books. They're very entertaining. I can't really read anything here. Awesome! Selfie, did you like that? Let's take a look at our relations with her. Oh, she did like it a little bit. Ooh. We'll read more later. Um, but we do need to go up to Well Island. Let's go find, um, let's go find some people to talk to while we wait for three o'clock to roll around. I mean, we only have a minute, but let's see. Look at all the rooms. They're everywhere. Eventually, something will be in this spot. I don't want to spoil that, though. So eventually. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, well, hello. Hi. How you do? I heard you went to the Green Ruins. Did you get the right equipment? You'll be in a world of pain if you're not careful. Yep, I have a sword that you provided to me, miss. Thank you very much. Is anybody outside? Nobody's out on this beautiful spring day. Not a one. Cinnamon usually sits in that spot. I only know that because I used to like her. Oh, there goes Rosetta. Is she coming back? Come, Rosetta, come to me. We'll make sweet, happy laughs and stuff. Whoa, hi. How are you? Thank you, I'm good. I'm just waiting for this place to open so we can take a bath. We have 15 seconds, so why not run around in complete circles and wait, right? That's what I do, except I usually cut it out, but today I'm not. I'm gonna make you guys suffer. Suffer the pain of waiting two more seconds for this to open so we can go to Whale Island. It was pretty terrible, huh? I'm so sorry. 
Hi. Welcome. I don't know. I never thought about Table. marrying Melody. Thank you. She just reminds me too much of a kid. I couldn't. I, don't know, I mean, some people are into that. Go for it. Personally, I like the mature, shy woman. As you can tell, I like cinnamon a lot. Sophie's pretty great too. She's got a very unpredictable personality, if that's what you want to call it. That felt great. Onwards to Well Island. We have two hours. Two. Whew, let's see if we can make it up there by then. And then we'll see tomorrow. I guess we'll see if we can go buy that um, that book so we can make a better sword. Now. Personally, I like the two-handed swords. They take a lot more damage, but they take a lot of a little bit more RP So I usually wait until I'm at a higher level before I use my two-handed swords. Where are we at right now? We're at level seven, so yeah, we got a ways to go We do have quite the bit of skill though, so that's not bad. Oh, goodness. Here we go. We're gonna go to the fin. Remember where that... I don't know if you guys remember. But it's where that little... That, um... Where the... That, uh, that, that tower was on the, on the island fin. That's where we're going. I am gonna go up and see if we can get some iron up here, though. Because whatever left RP I have at the end of the day, I'm going to start using that on our um, forge. Because we are going to need to uh, get level upgrades on that before we get at a higher level. Because once you get to that higher level, it's a little bit harder to obtain because you need a higher skill level. So we're going to get some iron. Not scrap iron. Oh, all three of those are iron. That's awesome. Bloop. And it's just about 4.30, so we better kick some butt here and get our weapon back so we can go to that fin. And then avoid all the monster on the fin because they want to destroy us. Like, literally. They want to, like, eat our souls or something. Just letting you know, I, it, my loading screen goes way too fast, but if you're sitting on the loading screen, you can push your A button, and it'll make the little runes bounce. Just, just thought I'd share that, it's pretty cool. Ooh, level up! Ooh, black grass and a toxin. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Ooh, yeah. I'll stop, I'm sorry. I think in my other game I'm at level 40 through 60, I can't remember. It's in between that number though. Later, um, just letting you know you can open this door now after you get candy in the harvester. You just bring her um, the Rooney and make it a rune stone and then you just fit it in there and then it'll open that for you. But I'm not gonna waste my runies on that because I can barely keep them managed. So we're just gonna leave them alone. All right, here we are on the fin. Ooh, look at bamboo shoot. <laughs> We're not going to attempt to kill these guys this time. Last time I did that, I died. But there is some treasure chests we can scavenge through while we're waiting for six o'clock to come by. Whoa, buddy! Get out of here! Get out of here! Run away! No. I don't want to die. Okay, so it looks like it's six o'clock. Let me grab this other chest and then we'll see if we can encounter the cutscene that we're needing to get. By the way, um, if you have energy drinks and you don't really need to use them, I, I suggest keeping them. Because later on you can um, use them to make better energy drinks. You just combine the two.
Um. All right. Okay, well, let's go see what, what that was all about. I guess we can't do it. Right you gonna let me in? By the way, that, um, I know they haven't, the game hasn't introduced her, but her name is Iris. She is another bachelorette, and she does have two parts to her. A black side and a white side. Are you not gonna let me in? Please stop by in the evening for business. Yeah, you wanna suck my blood. Or suck other things. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we can go in there just yet. But we did encounter a cutscene to where we haven't seen her, at least. She's going to be a main part of the story. But now that we're done with that, let's return. Alright. Now, um, it looks like it's a little bit too late to do anything else. Like I said, with the... Oh, man. With all of this energy I have, might as well, um... Do our, our land. My, my brain is such in a... It's in a fart. My brain is in a fart. <laughs> okay? I'm sorry. Let's see. Should we till some more land? I think... I think we'll cut some... Alright, so now that we have encountered, our next thing to do is we- it looks like we need to talk to Rosetta next. Until she does mention moon drops, moon flowers. And then she'll come up with a surprise for us. It is a great surprise, by the way. Very, very enjoyable surprise. Almost too enjoyable in the point where you- a game crashes and you just stop playing. It's, that's how enjoyable it is. No, I'm- I'm just kidding. But really, I'm just gonna finish cleaning up the fields. Uh, I'm gonna go to the forge, just forge some things to get the skill, my forging skill up. And then it looks like we'll be done. This was an interesting episode. We got to go through the green ruins, which was pretty great. Thankfully it wasn't too laggy, but we did have very low RP. So maybe next time we'll have to go in after we filled up. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the episode here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love your support on these videos. They're so fun to make. Um, it is a really great game, so make sure to try it. At least try it. It doesn't hurt nobody. It's for the Wii, okay? So, um, again, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next episode.